Do you ever look out into the distance or look at a site and hear some sort of imaginary background music in your head? Well, good afternoon everyone. My name is Chandler Helm and today I will show you how to write your very own original music. Many of you have been inspired by music somehow in some way and it has led you here to find the inspiration of how artists write music. As a growing musician myself, I have dedicated myself to research on how you can write music with more inspiration than theory and technique. Although, don't get me wrong, they are both very vital when writing music. Today, I will present to you on how to write music based on any picture you see in your head, thinking about the melody of that picture and the tone that brings the picture together. The first step of writing original music is to think about the first scene or image that comes out of your head, the imagery. Now. Take a moment and close your eyes for a second and think about the first image that comes to your head. Is it a beautiful sunset over in the distance? Is it a dark night but in the distance is a blue lit alleyway? Or is it a peaceful moment where you are sitting on a water fountain talking to a friend of yours? Keep that image in your head because according to an anonymously posted website article from Berkeley Online called How to Write a Song Using Imagery, it says that focusing on imagery will make your lyrics stronger and paint a more vivid image for your listeners. It is crucial to keep the setting in mind because you want to pull the audience into the setting and let them know where you are and your intent in being there. Then ask yourselves, what makes your image stand out? In an article written by Robert G.H. Burns called Depicting the Mary, Historical Imagery in English Folk Rock, he describes an interview process where, to paraphrase him, musicians discuss issues encompassing the symbolism that joins ideas of public personality to a music scene that accepts conflicting notions of musical purity. When thinking of the setting for your original music, it is important to give it a sense of identity. How does it stand out? What is happening at the moment? What makes your image stand out? Now, take a few seconds to think about these questions, and when you thought of your very own image from your head, now it's time to find the melody. This will be the second step in writing original music, and some may say it's the base for it. But, what is a melody? By definition, it's the linear succession of musical tones that the listener perceives as a single entity. So, for example, this. But, why is a melody important when writing music? Well, in an article written by Caroline Palmer from McGill University called Listening, Imagining, Performing, Melody as a Life Cycle of Musical Thought, she says that melody is defined as a distinct perceptual unit that exhibits stability and coherence to listeners and performers. In other words, the melody makes your original music stand out, and that the music must be interpretive to where your audience can see and understand the melody. Finally, how can we find a melody when thinking of the setting? Well, in an article written by Mr. Werber and Mr. Brown from the University of Oklahoma called Musical Imagery, they did a study on this and concluded that it would be difficult considering that musical imagery was differed in comparing overt and imaginal generation more so than the comparison of perception and imagery. To challenge this, let's have a look at the following slide. Here's an image that I've recently found and I want everyone to take a moment and look at it. Instead of asking you what do you see, I'm going to ask you what do you hear? Everyone's interpretation is different, so here is one of millions of interpretations that I prepared for this speech. With your imagination, you can look at a picture like this or any image and you can generate a melody that would best suit this picture. Although there is one thing that goes hand in hand with the melody and that is the final step of writing original music. The tone that supports the melody. Before doing anything technical with writing music, you must find the tone that best emphasizes the melody and the feeling of the scene. But what's tone? Well, it can be defined in several different ways such as musical sound, general attitude of a place, or even color. In this case of writing music, it's a combination of all three of these things. In a journal contributed by five different authors called Relations Between Musical Structures and Perceived and Felt Emotions, they did an experiment where they evaluated listeners' emotions by asking how would the normal people feel when listening to this music stimulus. The reason being that when writing and listening to music, you must be engaging and tell the story to set the tone and meaning of your original work. Give it color and feeling to both the melody and the imagery. With this in mind, the music would turn from this to this. In this case, 
Let's go back to the photo we saw earlier. When writing music, give yourself the time to ask yourself the following questions. What do you want your audience to feel? What do you want your people to leave with? What emotion do you want to express? What's your story? Now, looking at this picture here and listening to another excerpt that I prepared for the speech, I want to ask you this. Rather than what do you hear, what do you feel? To paraphrase the words of an article written by Robinson and Haddon called Emotions in Music, as we listen to the music we write, we would move on in an emotional journey in which our emotion feelings change as the music changes over time. The tone will be more or less emphasized by the melody and the image you have given it. In conclusion, writing music takes more thinking and inspiration than we would normally think. Writing music doesn't always have to be reliant on theory and writing technique, but what it does need are the thoughts of imagery, melody, and the tone that the melody before writing anything down. And I do mean anything. When writing music, you want to tell a story because there's a story to everything, and with time and inspiration, you can make one of the most beautiful, creative, original music masterpieces that tells your story and expresses your true self. Good luck, and more importantly, have fun. Thank you for watching.